Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to open, extract and create zip, rar, 7z or 7zip compression files and also how to work with rar files. Starting with Windows 11 version 24H2, it is now possible to manage archival formats through the new File Explorer wizard. It is important to note that if you are on Windows 11 version 23H2, you can only open and extract archival formats. Okay, let's dive into steps to manage archival formats on Windows 11 without the need of additional applications. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, first, we're gonna look at the steps to zip and unzip files with the new wizard. First, open File Explorer and just go to the location where you have the files or folders that you want to compress or archive using the zip compression format. For example, I have this folder named files and in here I have a bunch of files and other folders. So in order to create a zip file, we just need to right click on it and from this menu you can choose the zip file option and that will create a zip file with the default compression settings. However, you can also right click the files and folders that you want to compress and then you can choose the additional options item and that will bring the new wizard to create archival formats and from here you can select the zip option and from here you can select the compression method however in this case the store doesn't offer any compression so the one that you might want to use is the uh, deflate option and you can use the slider to choose the compression level. And as you can see, as the level increase, that will make the file smaller, but it will take more time. Now, if you use less compression, it will take less time because the computer will compress the file a lot faster. You can also clear this option, but the default, it's okay. And then just click the create button. And in this particular case, we're not gonna get another file because I already had a zip file and during the process, the system replaced the previous zip file that I had on this location. So we just created a zip file. Now we're going to open the archival format and then we're going to extract the files. So because of the integration with File Explorer, in order to access a zip file, you can just double click on it or you can also right click on the file and just choose the open option. From here, you can browse to the files and other folders. And if you want to extract just one file, you can simply right click and copy that file or a selection. And then just go to the location where you want to extract the files just going to create a file called new folder and in here I'm just going to right click and paste and that will extract the file from the zip folder. Now if you want to extract everything you can click the extract all button and that will bring up the wizard and from here you can select the extraction location and then click the extract button and then if we go to the new folder location we're going to see that we have the files extracted now you can also select the zip file and that will make the extract all button also available or you can right click the file and select the extract all option now let's look at the steps to create open and extract files from a 7-zip file or also refer to the 7z file. And to do that, just go to the folder location inside of File Explorer. And I'm going to use the same example. And from here, you can right click on the file that you want to compress and then just go to compress to. And from here, you can also select the 7z file option. And that will use the default settings to create that 7zip folder. Now, you can also go to the same compress to sub menu and then select the additional options item and that will bring up the new file explorer wizard and from the menu select the seven zip option for a couple format you have different methods that you can use 
for this particular format, but you can play around with the different options and see how the compression works for you. You can also choose the compression level and you can use the retain symbol links option, which actually it's a way to preserve the element pointer to a dot fire or directory in a file system. If you understand the feature and you don't need it, you can clear it and then click the create button. And here we have the 7z file created. Now to open this particular archival format, you only have to double click on it or you can right click and select the open option. You can browse your files and if you want to strike a particular file, you can simply right click and select the copy option. Go to the location where you want to strike the file and then just paste the file. And that's how you extract the file from the archival format. Now, if you want to extract everything, you can select all the files and just select the copy option. However, you're going to notice that there's no an extract all option. However, if we go back to the root of the folder, you can select the 7z file and then you're going to find the extract all option. You can click that, then set the path where you want to extract the files. And in this case, let me go to the folder that I created, select the folder and click the extract button. Then when you go to the location, you're going to find all the files extracted. Okay, now we're going to look at the steps to work with TAR files. So if you want to create a TAR file, you just need to go to File Explorer to the location where you have the files and folders, select those items that you want to compress, and then right click on it, select Compress 2, and from here you can select the TAR file option and that will use the default settings to create a TAR file as you can see it right here. However, you can always right click on the items that you want to compress and then select the compress to option and then choose the additional options item. On the wizard, choose one of the tar formats that you want to use. And almost always you want to use the tar GNU option. And then for compression level, you can choose from one of these four options. In my case, I usually go for the GZIP option. On the video description, I actually have a link to the written instructions on how to work with archival formats with more details about each of the compression levels. So you can check that out. Then you can choose the compression level and then just leave these two options checked. If you understand how they work and you don't need them, you can clear as needed. Then just click the create button. And as you can see, now we have a tar.gz file. Now, let me show you really quick the other compression levels that we have. So let's say that you want to use this compression method. When you click the create button, it will create a tar.bz2 file. If we choose, if we choose the xz method, this will create a .tar.xz file. And if we choose the Z standard, it will create a .tar.zst file. Now to extract a file from the archival format, you just need to double click or right click and select the open option. From here, you can browse to the file just select it, right click on it and select the copy option. Go to location where you want to extract the file and then just paste the file. If you want to extract everything, you can select all the items and do the same copy option, the same copy action, or you can go back to the root of the folder, then select the tar file and just click the extract all button. Select the path where you want to extract the files. In this case, I'm just going to go to this new folder, select that, and then click the extract option. Then when you go to the location, you're going to find all the files extracted. Now on Windows 11, we can also work with raw files, but you can only open and extract files. You cannot create raw files using File Explorer. So I have an example right here of a raw files and to open, you can double click on it or you can right click on the file and then just select the open option. From here, you can browse to all the files and then you can right click 
and copy that file then just go to the location where you want to extract it and just paste the file you can also go back to the root of the folder then select the raw file and click the extract all button and that will bring the wizard where you can select the destination to extract the files and then you can click the extract button to extract all the files just to give you a little more information although you can create extract and open zip tar 7 zip and you can also work with with raw files however you cannot work with archival formats that use password and encryption let me give you an example i have here a 7z file and this one has encryption on it we can open and view the files but if we want to open or extract it we're going to get an error because it's using encryption and this solution on windows doesn't have the ability to decrypt the file neither there is an option on the wizard to set a password for any of the compression methods so if you have to work with encryption for archival formats it's recommended to use a third-party tool and finally well you have been able to use the compress archive command tool to create zip files with powershell and there is even a native tar.exe tool to create tar files using command prompt or powershell windows 11 does not include a specific command to create a different archival formats or other tools to create seven zip files just something to keep in mind and that's it that's how you open extract and create archival formats with the new wizard available on file explorer for windows 11 version 24 h2 and higher releases remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing